Hi, do me a favor. Please click on the like button and on the subscribe. It makes me feel good and it encourages me to make more videos. Thanks. Hi guys. So we've been talking about taking a whole piece of a cake and cutting it into equal pieces. So when we cut into equal pieces, we have these two pieces are the same, so we call them equal. This piece is called one half. This one is called one half. Both of them are called halves. That's the plural form. And if I cut this again into, it'll, I'll have four equal pieces like this. So if you remember, these are called fourths. And each one of these is called one fourth, or it's a fourth, one fourth. And the way we write that is by writing a one, because we're only talking about one piece, over four. So it's one fourth. But there's still a question to answer. What do we call two of these? So if I were to take two of these and set them aside, put them over here, what do I call these two pieces of cake, or in my case, bread? What do I call them? Think about that. Those are the, when I have more than one and I only have two, it is called two fourths because it's an S, so it's plural. Now, if I take one more piece and I move it over here, can you guess? what it is? I'm sure you can. Oops, I'm going to do the whole thing again. Three of them would be three fourths. And the same thing applies. If I put in another one, we are going to have something called four fourths. Now, you can probably figure out what that means if I have four fourths then I have all the fourths, so I have them all. That's So I have one slice of bread when I put them all together. But in our case for now, this is just four pieces that are called one fourth. Now, let's have a look at how that looks on the whiteboard. Let me take them off. Thank you for being patient with me. Okay, here. Bingo. Now, we can do this with all kinds of different shapes. It doesn't just have to be squares or circles. It could also be triangles, but you have to be careful with triangles because they're really hard to divide. I'm only good enough at dividing them into two pieces. I don't think I can divide them into three equal pieces, but let's just do two. So just for the fun of it, take a triangle and we slice it down the middle. And this piece belongs to my friend Lando. And we have one, and there's one, two pieces, two. So these are, this is one. I was going to write fourths. Ha! Ah, completely off. Let's try that again. One half. Okay. Now, now look at that and I think, what if I try to divide it like this? Are these equal pieces? No, they're not equal pieces. All right, so I'll leave it up to you. Maybe you can figure out a way to split a triangle into more than two pieces that are equal. Maybe you can divide it into three equal pieces. I'll leave that up to you. So let's go back to a shape that's easier to divide. Let's talk about the circle. Okay. Now, so far, you've only seen me break a circle up into three and four pieces. Today, I'm going to break the circle up into eight. Looks like a wheel, doesn't it? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight pieces. And I'm going to color this one in. And I'm going to color this one in. And I'm going to color this one in. 
Now, how many pieces do I have colored in? I have three pieces colored in, right? How many pieces do I have all together? I have eight pieces. So that is three eighths. So that's three eighths are colored in. Let's do another one. Let's do a square this time. Sorry, buddy. There we go. I know the itches. How about this time we take this? I'm going to divide this up into three pieces like this. I'm going to do three pieces like this. So now, I, so now how many pieces do I have? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces. Those are nine pieces I have in there. And I'm going to color in one, two, three, and four. Now, what do we call that? Well, I got one, two, three, four pieces that are colored in, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces all together or total. So these are four ninths. Okay. So now let's have a look at that on the worksheet. So we have fractions of a whole. Some shapes can be cut into equal parts. A fraction can name more than one equal part of a whole. Write a fraction in words and in numbers to name the shaded part. Okay, how many equal parts make up the whole shape? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six equal parts. How many parts are shaded? One, two, three. Three parts. So three parts out of six equal parts are shaded. Read three sixths, write three sixths. Okay. Easy enough. That's what we've been talking about. Shade three parts out of eight equal parts. Write a fraction in words and in numbers to name the shaded part. Okay, I need my arrow here. So we're going to read it. Oh, first we need to color them in. It says shade three equal parts. So it's three equal parts right up here. So we need three equal parts. One, two, and three. Perfect. Now we fill in the spaces. Read three, and then we write it. Now look at how I'm going to, oh, this turned green because I got it right. Now look how I'm going to write this. Three slash eight. So that gives me three eights. One, two, three. Out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's why we have the eight there. Look at number two. This is really confusing to me, so please pay attention. So here we go. Write the fraction that come that names each part. Write a fraction in words and in numbers to name the shaded part. So write the fraction that names each part. Okay, so we're gonna name, so we're gonna write the fraction. Let me get my highlighter here. Ah, wrong one. Fraction that names each part. And then we're going to write a fraction for the shaded part. Okay, this is kind of tricky. I got confused because, well, I didn't think it was clear. But that's just me. Maybe somebody else understands this right away. So each part is, so let's count the parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. So each part 
each one of these is one six. And that's confusing because they don't say anything about putting it in here all the way up in here. And then here they finally asked me to, and I didn't realize that, but it makes sense now that I see it, but it could have been clearer, I think. So each part, each part is one six. So one of these is one six. How many are shaded in? One, two, three, four are shaded in. So the answer here is four sixths. And the way you write that as a fraction is four slash six for four sixths. Okay, so the hardest part here for me was to realize that this wants to know only the fraction for one piece, for each piece. Each piece is one sixth. This is how many pieces are shaded in, and this is how many together are shaded in as a fraction. Okay, so do that. If you have any problems, you know you can call me. I have Skype, I have email, I've got Twitter, I've got Facebook, you have Flipgrid, so whatever you need, tell your parents, get in touch with me, and I'll help you out. Good luck.